This video is going to go over some of the personal use features of VSIB. Some of these features are coupled with your signing boards, but some are also geared more to helping you with your hunting adventures. We originally designed just the signing board portion of VSIB, but we quickly realized that there were other tools that we could develop to help members. Now we are proud to be launching these tools for the 2015-2016 season. Now let us start by logging into VSIB. These personal use features are found in this area which is below your sign-in boards. Let us go over notifications first. This VSIB feature will notify you when certain information is updated for your sign-in board. You can click the view tab to go to the information. Once you click it, it will be removed from your notifications. You can dismiss all if you do not want to read each one. These notifications can be from your signing board administrator, harvest report update, new photos shared with your signing board, etc. Anything where information is updated, you will get a notification. Now let's go over to send notification page. On this page, the signing board administrator can briefly send a message to each member of their signing board. If the administrator has multiple signing boards, then they can choose which signing board to send the notification to. Now let us go back. Click this option labeled Notification Email Settings. This page allows you to select which notifications can be sent to you by email. This allows you to get an email when, when a notification pops up in VSIB. That is all for notifications. Now let's go on to Member Forms. Member Forms are where you can interact with other VSIB members, whether they are in your particular signing board or all VSIB members nationwide. From this page, you can select your signing board forms or all VSIB members, which is all members across the country. You can also start discussions in the help suggestion forums if you need help or you have a suggestion to help improve VSIB. First, we'll go over what an avatar is. An avatar is a photo that will be turned into a thumbnail that best represents your profile. If you do not upload one, then your first initial of your first name is used. To upload a photo that best represents you, choose that file and submit it. See, I have uploaded one for me of one of the great bucks I have killed over the years. Now let us go back. Change time zone allows you to select your time zone you are located in so the forum times will correspond with your area. I'm in the eastern time zone so you can see I have that selected. Okay, now to look at how the forums work. Let us drill down in one of the member forums. That would be VSIB help suggestions. Here you can see I'm asking if anyone needs any help. From this topic page, you can view the current topics by clicking the View Topic button, or you can create a new topic by clicking that option. Let us look at the previous topic. There you can see my post with the name and my avatar. If you want to participate, you can enter your reply and it will post it. You can even attach a photo if you want to your reply. Then submit it. Once you reply to a topic, you are automatically following that topic. This means if there are any updates, then you will get a notification. If you want to follow or unfollow a topic, you can select the option at the bottom. We tried to keep these forums easy and we are excited about our design. That is it for member forums. Now let us move on to the hunt journal. You can record your hunts in the hunt journal. It's a general journal where you can log your hunting dates and times, mark your locations, record what deer or turkeys you saw, and write a log of your hunt. You can also email individual journal entries to yourself for your record purpose or you can export and email all your entries for your other record purpose needs. I want to remind you guys this is just a general hunt journal. I know there are some more complicated ones out there that do a lot more but we wanted to keep this one um, simple and we wanted to create one to help log just basic information. The first thing you can do is add an entry. Here's the basic form. Now let us view our entries. This page shows all your journal entries in descending chronological order as you enter them. If you have more than 10, then you can click the next and back links to navigate your entries. You can click on the view link to view your entry or the edit link to modify your information. We are going to view an entry. On this page, you can view your journal entries. You also can delete your entry and export your entry to your email address. If you mark your journal entry with GPS, then you can view a map with its location. Finally, you can edit the entry if needed. Let us click edit. You can edit previous journal entries on this page. You can also remove your GPS location if you desire. Now back to the main hunt journal menu and let us go to statistics. Here you can see basic hunting statistics collected from your hunt journal. You enter a start and end date and you will get a report during that time period containing number of entries, total entries, time in hours, and a sum list of how many animals recorded. Finally, we can access export entries. 
You can enter a start and end time to export all journal entries during that time frame. This tab delimited text file will be emailed to you. Now let us move on to the next feature. This is by far my favorite feature, trail cameras. This feature allows you to manage your trail cameras. It also allows you to share this managing function with other VSIB members. You can basically combine your cameras with others and share local information with each other. Let us go through these screens. I'm going to go to current locations first. You can see I have 22 camera locations. We can now view one of these locations. Let's view 256 front parking. It shows me my basic information, such as camera ID, type, owner, whether it's locked or not, setup date, and last check date. We can get a GPS map of where we put it by clicking on the map link as I'm showing you here. You can edit this location by clicking edit, but before we go through there, you can update the check date by clicking that link saying you just checked your photos. And of course, you can delete this location by clicking delete. Now if we click edit, you will see that screen. This is just like the ad screen except you have existing data. If you need to modify this information, you can do it here. Also, if you need to add or remark a GPS location to your camera, you can from here. Now let us go back. Now the detail location is just that. It has all the details on the list page, whereas the current location you have to drill down. Which one you use is really a user preference. If you have a lot of cameras like we do, sometimes the alphabetical current location is better. You can sort your detail locations by setup date, check date, location, owner, and camera ID. Map locations will display a map of all your camera locations if you mark them with GPS coordinates. You can pinch in and out to zoom in and out on your phone. Add location will allow you to deploy a camera at a new location. You can select your cameras from the pull down option if that camera is not already deployed in the woods. Manage cameras where you enter all your camera information, including serial numbers. At top, you can click the Add Camera link to add a camera. This page will show a list of your cameras. You can edit the basic camera information. You can also remove a camera permanently from your list. This page also shows any additional shell cameras by other VSIB members. Each camera has a history link that will tell you the locations where it was deployed before. Finally, you can sort these cameras by the camera ID or by owner when you're looking for a specific camera. Share cameras is where you link your trail cameras to other VSIB members. You can enter a VSIB's member's email address to initiate an invite to share. An email will be sent to them where they can click on the link to agree to the share. You can also remove these shares on this page. Now we move on to Mark My Equipment. This feature uses the same logic that we just discussed for the trail cameras. Mark My Equipment is designed to keep track of all your hunting equipment. Your hunting equipment could be stands, feeders, etc. Current location page has all your equipment locations. From this page, you can click the edit link to edit the location. You also can view the equipment location on the map if it has GPS coordinates. Finally, you can remove the equipment from its location. Map location shows all your equipment locations with GPS coordinates. Pinching in and out to zoom in and out on your equipment locations with your phone. If you click on the pin, it will show your equipment name, location, and setup date. Add location does just that. It allows you to add equipment to a location. You can enter the equipment name and location. You also can mark it with GPS coordinates if you desire. My Photos is not an actual new feature as we rolled it out last year, but I want to go over it here. My Photos allows you to upload photos to your VSIB account. You can then select individual photos you share with signing boards that you are a member of into three possible folders. Trail camera photos, harvest photos, and other. You have a 10 megabyte disk space limit which should allow you to save between 100 to 150 photos if you desire. Remember these pictures are compressed from the original size in order to display and store them on mobile phones. From this page you can select to view your existing photos or upload a new photo. Now let us click view photos. This page shows the photos you have uploaded. Now let us view one of the photos by clicking it. This page shows your photo and its information. You can edit this information by clicking on the link. You also can delete the photo by clicking that link. If you click on the edit, then you see the page which allows you to change your basic photo information, including whether or not you want to share your photos with your other sign-in board members. And now let's go back to the main photo menu where you can add a photo. You can use this page to upload your photos. You can enter a caption and a location, and you also can choose a sign-in board to share your photos with your members. You know, there, as we discussed before, there are three photos you share within your sign-in board trail camera photos, harvest photos, and other. 
Members can access it through the shared photo options under the sign in board menu. One last thing to show you is our like and share with friends page. If you click this link, it will take you to Facebook, or you can do a search in Facebook on Virtual Sign In Board and it will take you to our page. Please like our page and share it with your friends. We are excited about our web app and we want more hunters to know about it. That is all what we call personal use features. Please contact us if you have any questions or problems. Thanks for watching and good luck hunting.